So, um, got kind of bored, and I want to upload this video completely unedited, uncut, and I'm, I really want to get deep into album reviews, but, you know, I, I, I really want to show you guys some of my music tastes, and to show you that I'm not just only going to review hip-hop albums, so I'm just going to speed through, <clears throat> just going to speed through all the albums that I have purchased and that I have with me right here right now so far because um, like I have other albums that I haven't purchased that uh, you know we'll have to <laughs> we'll have to go through at another time but I thought this video would be interesting and uh, interesting and fun so let's get to it Buck we're already at 50 seconds in all right so first album that I've got here that I purchased long long time ago uh, Mr. Marilyn Manson. Uh, I, I was a huge fan of Marilyn Manson back in the day. Uh, still a fan of his old um, old songs. You know, Beautiful People, Fucking Sweet Dreams. Those music videos. The Nobodies. Woo! Love that song. Um, I always loved this particular uh, images here. This is focusing. Oh, the, oh, there, there's the focus. There you go. Love, good old, creepy, creepy, strange, and beautiful, Mister Marilyn. All right, we need to move faster. Fuck. Uh, album that I bought personally. Uh, listen, I loved this game so much. God, I listened to this shit um, so much, and I believe that this is. Um, the Japanese version, I, I think. Um, uh, come on and focus, you bitch. I don't know if it's going to focus at all. Yeah, I think this might be a Japanese version, maybe. But um, I just, I, I always loved this game. And I always loved this, uh, this album, you know. And I'm really glad that I'm doing this video. Because it will give you guys a sense of my uh, musical tastes and beginnings. All right, God, already at two minutes. Um, I, I got a fast stack down here. Another album that I purchased, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. I just, this this album, like, I just, oh, it's just, just a, you know, just work of, just work of art, you know? Um, come on, focus, bitch. Uh, just, just a, just a work of art, you know? I just... Yeah, it's just beautiful. It's, uh, it, uh, um, <laughs> oh, I almost forgot about this. Uh, I used to listen to this shit, uh, mad crazy back in the day. Um, as you know, The Matrix, the first film from 1999 is my favorite film. Um, so I bought this. Not surprisingly. Not surprisingly. Fucking used to love this. Uh, used to love this shit so much. So much. We got Wolf's Rain. How many of you anime lovers know about this shit? Wolf's Rain. Oh, God. The, the, this, 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 uh, this album. It's just, it's, oh, Lord. That wasn't good. Um, it's just tasty. Tasty shit. But I didn't like that the little booklet almost fell out. Um, the songs on here. Uh, the, uh, which one's my favorite? I think... I think Paradise. <clears throat> um, uh, I think Paradise or Gravity. One of the two is like, like the saddest, most beautiful song I've ever heard in my entire life. Oh, oh this album so good. Evanescence. I used to fucking fuck with this album so so hard. This brings me back to being a fucking teen. Let me tell you. We got Inya. Um, oh, I. I used to fall asleep uh, to this bitch's voice. Like she, I, I just loved this album so much. It, it just, just made my, my soul happy. But by, by the way, I grew up with a lot of ambient soundtrack music. So you're gonna see a few <clears throat> soundtracks in here. Um, pisses me off. You can see the camera in the background, but that's okay. Love, love this. Hans Zimmer, favorite uh, composer. We got, 
Uh, we got Into the Wild. One of my favorite books of all time. Great film. Um, I, 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 I've become pretty obsessed with Christopher McKinless, his life, you know, how he tragically died in Fairbanks Focus. Um, let's see here. We got Nothing Was the Same in here that I bought. Drake. Love this album. Woohoo! Um, all, all me. Yeah, no, no, all me. Like, for real. If there was a, just a vinyl copy of All Me, I would I would buy it. Uh, we got uh, we got Mr. Hans Zimmer again. I mean, this, don't really even need to discuss how fucking dope um, this album is. I mean, Time. Oh! We got uh, Batman Begins. Oh yes, Batman Begins. It's one one of my favorite soundtracks for real. Uh, oh my god, oh my god. We got the Matrix soundtrack, of course. I mean, this this might be where I discovered Marilyn Manson, and this album might be where I discovered uh, or found myself falling in, in love with rock music. You know, from Rob Zombie, Deftones, Rage Against the Machine, Prodigy. Oh. This album, love this album. Um, uh, Leave you far behind. Track number six is gold. It's gold, I tell you. It's gold. Wow, we're uh, only six minutes in. I think we're doing pretty good. Um, bought this uh, a while ago. I think back in 2012 or a little bit earlier. I can't remember, but loved this album. Um, I especially love this, uh, this pick here. That pick is, the this picture right here is just so fucking sick. I love Dead Mouse. Um, what we got? I think my favorite track is, um, Tell Mc, Tell Miss Communications. Apparently I'm just a mumble mouse right now, but that, track 13. That's what I should have fucking said. Imogen Heap. I will get back to you about that uh, Sonic Queen. Um, we got Rihanna up in this bitch. Um, I, I really love... I know some of you guys might be rolling your eyes, but I really love the song, um, particularly Numb, featuring Eminem, and Love Song, number five. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Another soundtrack coming at your ass. Man on Fire. Oh! The soundtrack, the fucking Tony Scott, rest in, rest in peace, bro. Imogen Heap, let me tell you something. Imogen Heap is, I think, still my favorite. No, Imogen Heap is my favorite female vocalist of all time. Um, the only other female vocalist I love as much as her is uh, Katie B. It was a sexy little thing, and uh, Miss Bjork and her sonic mouth. But I mean, oh God, I waited so long for this fucking album. Like you have no idea, I waited so long. Like fucking, this album was just such a body of work. This is the deluxe edition, and I just ah oh, Imogen Heap, uh, this woman. Oh, I fucking love that woman. Shit, we're at eight minutes. Time to speed things up here. We got Beardy Man. Beardy Man. If you are not familiar with Beardy Man, you need to look this guy up. Beatboxer. Makes a lot of his music with just his mouth. Beardy Man. Uh, this was his first album. I mean, this this dude. It, it, he just is a, he is a technological, musically technological freak of nature. Beardy Man. Beardy Man. Someone that you should definitely check out. I mean, uh, he makes like heavy, heavy, dense electronic music where you you won't, you know, you might find some fucking guitars in there, some pianos in there. Um, look, at this. it's a golden piece of shit. Okay, look up Beardy Man. All right, dude's incredible, incredible. Ah, uh, future. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that going to focus? 
Come on. Focus, my bro. Do it. I don't think it's going to focus. Oh, you bastard. Well, it says the OF tape volume 2. God damn it. All right. We got ourselves some base nectar. Some tasty sonicness. We got uh, Yeezus. Of course. We even got uh, what we got. We got Resident Evil Apocalypse, the movie soundtrack. Oh my god. They're um, number 15 on here, particularly still gets me. Uh, 36 Crazy Fist by Bloodwork. Oh! Alright, 10 minutes in. Fuck. Uh, Marilyn Manson. Yeah, I don't want this video to be too long. Uh, we got Tyler the Creator, Goblin. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Oh! This is like is me as a teenager, okay? All that needs to be said. Uh, the amazing, the impeccable Reggie motherfucking Watts. I. This guy is like. Like, if. if Reggie fucking Watts. He, he's like. He's like the cousin to Bearded Man. Collateral. Boo, 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 boo. G uh, I was about to say Jeezy, but uh, uh, jazzy, classy, timeless music. I, you, you gotta love it. Listen, one, one of the best. Um, God, look how old this is. It pisses me off that this crack is here. Um, but this is one of my favorite albums of all time. One of my favorite movies of all time. This album... Like, it almost brings a, sh a fucking tear to my eye. Like, you just don't know! Uh, this album I've listened to countless fucking times. Countless times. Like, this is fucking remnants of the little sticker that said, like, it won a Grammy or whatever. But, anyway, this is where I discovered motherfucking Imogen Heap from Fru Fru. So I gotta fucking focus. I don't know if it is focusing, but... Um, that's where I discovered Imogen Heap through Let Go. What a, what an introduction to that, that woman's mouth. Oh my god. We got, uh, we got Watch This Throne, which I enjoy rather immensely. We got some more love from Mr. Reginald Watts. Yes, please check out Reggie Watts if you don't know who I'm talking about. The man is a psychotic, and I mean that as a compliment all the way we got jay-z's uh magna carta up in this bitch oh yes i fucking i really enjoy this album quite a bit um i love the yeah i love i love i love like smelling like new albums or movies am, am i the only one i might be the only one who does that weird sh that weird shit but i just i just love the attention to detail attention to detail and the the irony right there you gotta love it you gotta love it you know damn we're 13 minutes in shit we're almost uh at the bottom stack here oh I almost forgot about this one bottom stack of uh, all the album all the purchase albums that I have with me and uh, just bought this recently um, Kendrick Lamar Fucking To Pimp a Butterfly, 10 out of 10, masterpiece album for me, at least. Uh, I mean, this album just fucking is so fucking incredible. I love this, um, the butterfly here. That shit's sick. Uh, the album art is so fantastic. I mean, it's just, I, I just love it so much. Let's, let, let's just go through this real quick. <clears throat> I mean, the album art here is just, it's so sick. My God. There's a, uh, also, this shit is so ingenious, what he was doing there. Um, this is my favorite picture up in this bitch. It just blows my mind with the politician guy with the butterflies on his face. Like, ugh. Kendrick, bro. Just, oh, so fucking dope. Love that album so much. I have no idea 
Uh, well, you do have some uh, some idea <laughs> if you see my review. All right, let's get to the the end of this video. Uh, you've probably seen this before if you saw my Kendrick Lamar video, but Wolf from Tyler the Creator. I had to get the deluxe. Big odd future fan. Um, I, I love the packaging on this bitch. I mean, it's just really just an overflow of uh, just randomized creativity. Just dope shit. Um, fucking, we got Slater up in this bitch. And, uh, yeah, I love how Wolf is, like, supposed to be, like, some kind of Sonic movie, which is, uh, I don't know. I really love, love that album. Down to last three. Last three, people. Uh, we got, oh, wow. This is a powerful last three. Shigar Ross, um, this album. Oh, my God almighty. I was there. I was there, bitches, when they live-streamed this bitch across, like, uh, all, uh, all the major countries. Like, it, like that shit was so dope. Like, I was sitting there on the internet, and they uh, streamed this album live. And, like, you, you just had to listen to the whole thing, track after track. And once you listened to it, it was done, and you can comment with others who were listening at the same time. And um, th this, I think this is their best album to date uh this album is fucking nuts it's just so epic and it's oh my god oh my god uh, i can't even and the last two we got uh my beautiful dark twisted fantasy from mr kanye motherfucking west 10 out of 10 fucking masterpiece right here um the packaging is of course just uh, beautiful shit. I really wanna. I wanna get a record player and get this shit on vinyl. Um, once I get a record player, I need to get a lot of things on vinyl. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just such. Oh, this album. Fuck. I love it so much. Runaway, Power, um, So Appalled, or whatever that track is called. Um, just beautiful shit. Beautiful shit. Fuck, we're at 17 minutes. Let's wrap this up with the last album that I have here that's purchased, which is my favorite album of all time. I'll be doing a review. I will review this album, I promise. But very quickly here, my favorite album of all time, Fucking Kid A from uh, Radiohead. You know what I'm saying? I fucking love that, that album. My favorite album of of all time undefeated but yeah that gives you a, a better idea of some of my musical tastes we'll go through more of my music collection at a later time but um i don't want to uh have more time being eaten up here so i'm just gonna end the video there um what are some of your musical tastes you know some of your favorite artists let me know down below and that's it for now Peace.